Felix Gonzalez. Now on to our second contest from San Jose. And here's a familiar, if somewhat flabby sight of the former cruiserweight champion of the world, Ozzy Ocasio. He's now moved up to heavyweight, as you can probably gather from that. Certainly uh, been around an awful long time, Ozzy Ocasio. Always good value for money. So, uh, originally from Puerto Rico. There is Ocasio. 34 now, a former champion. Used to call him Jaws. Not too appropriate a nickname these days. And this is the man he's up against. A very, very useful heavyweight prospect indeed from Atlantic City, New Jersey. This is Bruce Selden. Hasn't lost yet. 12 contests, 12 wins, 10 knockouts. Now, presumably this is another one of those learning fights for Selden. And he's up against a crafty old campaigner here, Ozzy Ocasio. Despite the fact he seems to have been around forever. And, uh, he made his debut in 1976, Ocasio. But, uh, he's only actually had... 37 fights. So he's not too ring soiled. 128 of them. Lost eight of them. One draw. But never really been a powerful puncher, even as a cruiserweight, Casio. Just 11 knockouts. Certainly since uh, the expanding girth moved him up a division into the heavies. He hasn't really looked like uh, taking anyone out. Bruce Selden. Physically well defined, good muscle definition. Makes an interesting contrast to the 34 year old Acacia. That's a snapping left hand. Seldon getting down to business early. Both men in white. It's not too difficult to distinguish between the two of them. Seldon. There's the one that looks like he's just come out of a Mr. Universe competition. Ocasio is the man who looks like he's been a boxer for 14 years. I've seen better days at that. But he's a crafty old campaigner, old Aussie. And if you're a lover of the old timers, Probably be uh, rooting for for him here against this young whippersnapper, Bruce Selden from Atlantic City. A man of whom big things are expected. His manager, Carmen Graziano, on record as saying that Selden has God given talents. Lists his reflexes, coordination, punching power, and mobility. Good instincts. So he's got a very quick jab so far. But, uh, all the evidence we've seen so far, and that's going to be uh, an essential prerequisite of a long and successful career in the heavies. Taking it easy so far. Never really been a quick visitor, a uh, quick finisher, Casio. Certainly in the twilight of his career, he's unlikely to start now. It'll be interesting test this for Selden. He's had 12 contests, won the lot. Ten of them have come pretty quickly indeed. But this is the first time he's been matched against an opponent who's been around. A good combination there from Ocasio. Just a reminder of former days when he was the WBA Cruiserweight Champion from 1982 to 84. Beat Robbie Williams in 82. Defended it successfully on three occasions, Ozzy Ocasio. But, uh, also a couple of decisions over Jimmy Young, who was a pretty decent heavyweight there in the early 70s. Young went the distance and almost nicked a decision off Muhammad Ali. And Casio dispatched him. 
when admittedly Young had uh, seen better days. Uh, Snapping left jab for Seldon. Aussie's going to have to make sure his reflexes are 100% to keep those out of his face. Round two. It's scheduled for eight. Bruce Seldon in the black boots. So far, Ocasio doing enough to frustrate Bruce Seldon. If Seldon can put this guy away, he'll certainly serve notice that uh, he's arrived in the heavyweight division. Even at 34, there's not many get rid of Ozzy Ocasio, beating Ocasio's last contest. He went the distance with Terrell Biggs. Good victory that for Biggs, considering the uh, recent run of poor performances he's had since losing to Mike Tyson. Subsequently lost to Francesco Damiani, the WBO champion from Italy. And our own Gary Mason, of course, knocked him out in seven last year. Gary, of course, still awaiting a decision on his future, following his retina trouble. Seldon looking a little confused and perplexed. I don't think he can quite work out this, this crafty, cagey opponent that he's got in front of him. Good right hand. Casio took it well. Casio heard the tap to tell him it was near the end of the round. Prompted a flurry of activity. Can't fight at uh, can't fight at a flat out pace these days, can't Aussie? As soon as he hears that tap, telling him there's 10 seconds to go, he starts throwing. Throwing those punches. So a couple of fairly quiet rounds so far. But Bruce Seldon certainly done enough to win them. It'll be a nice scout to have the former WBA cruiserweight champion of the world, 34 year old Ozzy Ocasio. He's been in with some good heavyweights in his time as Ozzy. He's lost to Amanda Holyfield, Michael Dokes, Larry Holmes. Stopped him in seven. Holmes was certainly in those days. The heavyweight boxer. Back in the early 80s, he reigned supreme. Round three, then. Bruce Seldon against the man with his back to us, Ozzy Ocasio. Seldon doing enough in those opening two rounds to. Uh, Probably just edged them on the scorecards, but not really doing an awful lot to suggest that uh, we're watching a future world title contender in the making. But a Casio can do that to you, it can frustrate you and make you look very ordinary. Final quarter. 
break, a little bit overdue. A lot of the power of might have gone now from Ocasio, but uh, the reflexes are still pretty well intact. That's why he's able to keep going at the age of 34 without getting himself in too much trouble. He's a contender, obviously, but uh, doesn't get caught by too many either. That's, of course, when your reflexes go things can start to get a little bit dangerous. Casio launches a couple of wild swings himself. Neither of them causing any trouble. It's Bruce Seldon. From Atlantic City. The East Coast Boxing res Resort. third round looks like another round to Bruce Seldon but uh, he really hasn't fathomed out the veteran Ocasio at all so far Ocasio making him look very ordinary indeed a big wild swinging right as he ducks under it saw it coming a mile away and by some sixth sense it looks as if Ozzy realizes we're coming near the end of the round I wonder if we'll see another flurry of activity from him oh, and a big right hand comes in Seldom on the attack. Good little short left. Casio takes it well. Good snapping left jab. And around three. And as the fighters take a break, so will we. We'll be back soon. And welcome back for round four of this heavyweight contest between Ozzy Casio on the left and Bruce Seldon here at the San Jose Civic Center. And, uh, in truth, we're still waiting for this contest to come alive. Ocasio, the veteran, playing the role of the spoiler. Seldon, the rookie, 12 fights, 12 wins, 10 of them early, but uh, not looking a killer he's looked so far against this cagey old veteran. Ozzy doing enough to stay out of trouble, make sure he doesn't get hurt. Throw a few punches of his own every so often, just to remind Seldon that yeah, he's been a world champion, he's been there. Six years ago, since he lost his title, WBA Cruiserweight title, he's moved up a division. He's now a heavyweight in every sense of the word. being flicked out by Ocasio, opening up a little bit there. Seldom parried most of that on the gloves and the arms. Those shots won't count. Certainly on the evidence so far, the uppercut, just saw it again. Oh, good straight right, just about to say the uppercut. Seems to be the best punch on a straight right, sends Aussie's gum shield flying. Three takes the time out. Get it rinsed and replaced. Casio doesn't seem to be any the worse to wear. That's a jolting straight right. From Seldon. Having a good success here in the fourth.
the first one. Caught the second one on the glove. Seldon still looking confident. Needs to work that left jab a bit more. It's a very fast jab indeed. for the end of the fourth. Casio there switched to southpaw briefly at the end there. Perhaps an attempt to confuse the old man. It'll take a bit more than that to confuse Ozzy Casio. although a few more punches like that might just do the trick. And we're into round seven. And it's still Bruce Selden very much in control of this fight without ever looking like he's going to dispatch the veteran, former WBA cruiserweight world title holder, Ozzy Ocasio. It's no stranger to Britain, actually, Ozzy. Came over nine years ago. Fought John L. Gardner, former British and European heavyweight champ, who in those days was being considered as a, as a possible world title contender himself, until he met Michael Dokes, who uh, urged a fairly quick reappraisal of his uh, aspirations. Well, Ozzy couldn't handle John L that night. Gardner knocked him out in six. has really been the decisive factor in this contest so far. No doubt about who's winning the contest. But Selden likes to end them early. When you're sharing a ring with a guy like Ozzy Ocasio, it's a tall order. Ocasio is making Bruce Selden look very ordinary indeed. Douglas, Randa Holyfield, Mike Tyson and the rest of them need worry about Bruce Selden for a couple of years on this performance. Casio lets go a right, just brushes past Selden's chin. A negligible effect on the youngster from Atlantic City. There we are, here the tap to say the last few seconds of the round. And there is the bell. The end of the seventh round. Um, you can perhaps tell by the crowd's reaction that uh, they were expecting a little bit more from this newcomer who came in with a big reputation, but uh, so far hasn't really lived up to it. The manager was billing him as, as, as the great new find in the heavyweight scene. But, uh, not really, truth be, truth be known. But we're in the eighth round and the last round. Bruce Selden will be looking for a knockout finish. Old Ozzy will probably be looking to stay up on his feet. Collect his paycheck. He's earned it. 34-year-old. A little bit of bounce in his step as well. Just to let the youngster know he's still uh, got a few rounds left in him. But Selden, I think, has... Uh, has mentally conceded that he's not going to knock this man out. Just going to do enough work to take the round. Should have won it by a fairly substantial margin. Has 
been charitable, I'd say Aussie maybe shared a couple of the rounds, but uh, by no stretch of the imagination could he be a winner. He simply hasn't done enough work. That's sound an uppercut. If you can deliver it with timing and accuracy, which he hasn't really managed to do in this contest, it could be quite a punch. through this final session. And Bruce Seldon will have learned a few things out of this fight, I'm sure. He'll have learned he can't just go in there and bowl them over. He's got to work at these guys. They'll come much bigger, much tougher, and punch much harder than a 34-year-old blown-up cruiserweight. Selden in his next few contests to see what lessons he's taken on board from a meeting with Ozzy Ocasio. Still looks fresh, still looking to throw punches. Not really putting Ocasio under too much pressure. Ocasio holding when he's in a bit of trouble, just making sure. Grabs a breather, doesn't run out of gas. Bit of a quiet, a bit of a tame end, a fairly tame contest, it has to be said. No doubt in my mind at all that Selden's going to be the winner of this one. But the gum shield comes out again. Just a few seconds left. It's Selden's gum shield that's come out this time. We've uh, seen plenty of gum shields in this contest. Uh, only be four or five seconds left in the contest as Selden's gum shield is rinsed off and replaced. Aussie lumbers out and throws the last punches of the contest as well and the two men embrace the uh, ocasio has come through his workout intact takes the applause of the crowd seldom unless there's a sensation will we'll take the verdict and uh, let's see he has indeed won his 13th straight contest oh. Seldon looking a little bit anxious there. I don't think he's got too much to feel anxiety about. I don't think he lost a round in that contest. Let's see as we wait for the judges. Well, it looks like it's going to be a unanimous one. Yes, it's unanimous. And Seldon's got it. Well, that's all we have time for from the San Jose Civic Center. But we'll be back again next week with some more U.S. professional boxing. Until next time, bye for now.